You know, it's crazy to think that Toyota has been a major player in the American automotive market since 1957. Back then, they were known for producing quality and reliable vehicles, and they've only gotten better with time. Toyota is now one of the biggest names in the game, and for good reason. For years, Toyota's been competing with GM and Ford, offering reliable mid-priced cars and pickups. But when Ford released their compact pickup truck, the Maverick, they shook things up in the industry. Everyone, including Ford, was surprised by the overwhelming demand for an affordable and smart pickup truck. And you know what they say, competition breeds innovation. That's where Toyota comes in. The Japanese automaker has confirmed that they're making a comeback in the compact pickup market, an area they once dominated. And we're excited to investigate what they have planned for their new vehicle. Will it be able to compete with the Maverick? Will it surpass it? We can't wait to find out. So buckle up and join us on this ride as we explore Toyota's plans for their new compact pickup truck. Let's start by taking a look back to the 1960s, when the Toyota Stout made its grand entrance into the American market. Unfortunately, it didn't quite hit the ground running, with only four brave investors willing to give the new truck a chance. But sales eventually picked up, although the Stout never quite found its footing in America. To comply with local regulations, Toyota made some adjustments, like enlarging the cabin and offering both right and left-hand drive options. But still, the Stout remained relatively unpopular in the States. Thankfully, that wasn't the end of Toyota's small truck story. The Helix pickup truck came roaring in next, and this one was a hit. Toyota Off-Road hails the Helix as a rugged and useful workhorse, and it's easy to see why. The long bed option made an appearance in 1973, and then in 1979, we were blessed with the SR5 sport truck version. It's incredible to see how Toyota's small trucks have evolved over the years. From the Stout's lackluster debut to the Helix's undeniable success, Toyota has continued to innovate and provide us with top-notch trucks. For three decades, Toyota had a monopoly on the compact pickup truck market, before eventually moving towards larger size pickups and discontinuing the Helix in favor of the Tacoma. Speaking of the Tacoma, it's no secret that it's been the king of the mid-size pickup truck market for years. But as the market shifts towards more economical and versatile pickup trucks, like the Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz, it's clear that Toyota needs to make a move. And that's where the new compact pickup comes in. Toyota's no stranger to building rugged, reliable pickups, and the new truck promises to bring back all the charms of its original mini trucks. Think reliability, efficiency, and simplicity all in a compact package, Toyota Stout. But why go back to a compact pickup when the Tacoma is still selling like hotcakes? Well, for one, the Tacoma has grown over three feet in length and 10 inches in height since the year 2000, and with that growth has come an increase in price. A base model Tacoma in 2000 cost just over $11,000, while a 2022 model will set you back over $27,000. So when Ford and Hyundai both introduced affordable, economic pickups that could double as daily drivers and workhorses, it was clear that Toyota needed to make a move. And that move might just involve bringing back the Toyota Stout nameplate to take on the likes of the Santa Cruz and Maverick. As mentioned earlier in the video, the Stout was produced by Toyota between 1954 and 1989, with US fans having access to the second generation in the 1960s. Honestly, it's an exciting time for the compact pickup truck market and Toyota's return to the game is sure to shake things up. With a reputation for building rugged, reliable pickups, it'll be interesting to see what they bring to the table with their new compact truck. According to Motor Trend, Toyota executive Bob Carter has hinted that a new product could be on the horizon, with the possibility of seeing a new compact truck very soon. And we all know how much thought Toyota's been putting into this range, with the introduction of the Abat unibody truck concept way back in 2008. But why the Toyota Stout, you may ask? Well, it was the Stout that introduced the Toyota brand in the light pickup truck market in America and provided the Helix with a platform on which it made history. The model paved the way for the Helix and Tacoma, so its return to the market would have the benefit of reconnecting the dots and basically coming full circle. Now, when it comes to the competition, the Maverick has been entitled to the unibody pickup truck throne thanks to its good looks, modern platform, affordable trims, and the standard availability of an efficient hybrid powertrain plus a turbocharged flagship. But let's not forget about the Hyundai Santa Cruz, which is also a tough contender. So what would the new Toyota Stout look like? Well, if we take a look at the Toyota SUV range, the most obvious choice for a base would be the Toyota RAV4 or the new Corolla Cross crossover. Creating a unibody truck from these two base models would be straightforward and bring a number of benefits. For the new Toyota Stout, 
a unibody platform may make more sense, as most customers will use it in urban environments rather than off-road terrain. The same reason could also be cited for making all-wheel drive optional, allowing customers who don't need it to get better fuel economy and lower maintenance costs. It looks like Toyota might be building the new Stout on the GAK platform, which is known for its low center of gravity and high body rigidity. This could mean that the Stout will have excellent handling and stability on the road, and with a lower hood and dashboard, drivers will have better visibility of the road ahead. That's definitely a plus for safety. Now, Toyota already has a great hybrid engine that could help the Stout compete with the popular hybrid Maverick, but they could also build it on the GAC platform, which would make it more affordable and accessible for more markets worldwide. If they choose the latter, it could be a slightly larger dual cab pickup, perfect for those who need a bit more space and versatility. And let's not forget about the technology. The Stout's expected to have a twin cab design and feature Toyota's Texas-developed infotainment system with a variety of touchscreen sizes. According to Toyota, this new system has five times as much processing capability as the previous one, which means it'll be faster and more responsive than ever before. Now, one of the big questions on everyone's mind is whether the new Toyota Stout will be electrified. With hybrid trucks gaining popularity, there's a good chance that the Stout will feature an electric powertrain. This means better fuel efficiency, reduced ownership costs, and instant torque that comes in handy during towing and on inclines. And let's not forget the added performance appeal of that extra oomph. In the US, the Stout will go head-to-head -head with the Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz, but globally, it'll face off against the Ram 700, the Renault Duster Auroc, and the Fiat Strata. And with the Maverick already proving that hybrids can be successful in the truck market, we're excited to see what Toyota has in store for us with the new Stout. With the recent success of the Ford Maverick and the Hyundai Santa Cruz, Toyota is now considering getting back into the compact truck game. And with over 86,000 reservations for the 2023 Maverick, it's clear that there's a huge demand for these smaller, more affordable pickups. But if Toyota wants to make a splash in this segment, they're going to need to bring their A-game. The Maverick can tow up to 4,000 pounds, so we're expecting Toyota to at least match that with their upcoming stout truck. But we wouldn't be surprised if they blew that number out of the water considering that the Tacoma can tow up to 6,800 pounds with the right setup. So what can we expect from the new Toyota truck? Well, we know that it'll likely be based on the ETNGA platform that also underpins the upcoming Subaru Solterra and BZ4X. This means we can expect around 250 horsepower and dual motor all-wheel drive, which should make for some pretty impressive off-road capability. But here's where things get interesting. According to a recent interview with Toyota's Top Brass, they're considering two different approaches to their compact truck. They could go with a more traditional body-on-frame setup for a rugged, off-road-focused truck. Or they could go with a more city-friendly unibody platform that's better suited for urban environments. Either way, we're excited to see what Toyota has in store for us. And with rumors of a possible reveal at Toyota's HQ Confidential event in June 2023, it looks like we won't have to wait too much longer to find out.